Welcome to another episode of Entrepreneurs in Fuego. We're documenting the journey of incredible entrepreneurs one digital footprint at a time. And it is a green footprint at a time. Dori Morales, how are you? I'm wonderful. Green Living Magazine. Um, a phenomenal magazine, a terrific magazine, a great movement. Um, why is it so important to have or to live green? And, and, and explain us, explain that a little bit to us. I think the main reason to live green, or what I know is the main reason to leave green, live green, is to um, make the world a better place for future generations. And it's so important for the kids of today because if we continue like with the amount of waste that we're producing every year and what we're doing and looking at buildings and energy efficiency and things of that nature, I think it's key to where we're going in the future. And there's so many different ways of being green, but I think really inspiring children is where it's gonna make a difference. And, and it makes a heck of a lot of sense, Dory. However, we don't do it, right? I mean, most of us, in fact, there are, uh, with, in, in the current environment, um, we're, we're denying that, that there is even a climate uh, change, that our planet is in danger. I mean, there's, there's, we, we seem to be going to the opposite side rather than being more attuned and, and, and more uh, uh, conscious about our, our planet and what living green means. Why, why do you think that is? I think it goes back to education, and I think that's the key and the whole reason why I have the magazine, is people need to be educated, because I think there are six areas that we can all come together and agree that we all want clean air, we all want, we all have sure. energy issues, we sure. all need food, we need to be educated, and um, also waste and water. We live in Arizona, and we have to be mindful, because if not, water's gonna be the next gold. Yeah, well, it's, it's is a limited resource. I mean, it's not a renewable resource. Water, once it's gone, is gone. And so that's, you know, that, that would limit the thing. Um, the, the other aspect that I would see, though, is from a, from a geopolitical point of view, being or living green would actually stave off potential wars, right? I mean, because if the food supply stops in one particular area of the world, then it would displace, uh, presumably, a large swath of people that they would have to go somewhere. And they may not be very welcome if the food supply stops in a particular place. Correct. Grin Living, how long have you, how long have you had the, the magazine? I've had the magazine since 2010. What is the, the most rewarding aspect of having Green Living magazine? And, and what is the feedback that you get from folks? I think the most rewarding um, thing for me is when people say, oh my gosh, I read your magazine from cover to cover. I learned so much. And then when people are starting to learn that they want to be more green or they want to live a more conscious life, that they they come to, we have launch parties every month and they come together and we get anywhere from 50 to 300 people. And after my phone, my text, my email, they go crazy and they're like, I learned so much. And they could be, in terms of green, you could be a light green, medium green, or dark green person. What does that mean? So you may do, you may recycle. So that makes you light green. And then the dark green person is someone living in a teepee or totally living off grid. And so it's bringing together people, I mean, the dark greenies, you're never going to be able to move um, the needle with, but with the light and the medium, they can learn more. They can learn, oh, I'm already gardening. I'm being sustainable, but maybe I can garden hydroponically, or maybe I can garden aquaponically or something like that. And they, they learn. There's things you can do in your home, and there's things that you can do with what you put on your body as well, where you're not using chemicals. Who reads Green Living Macy? Our reader demographic is 80% female, 20% male. Our core sweet spot is from 35 to 45 years old, and they usually make an income of 150,000 plus college educated. Why, why do you think there's that disparity between male and female? 80% female, is that what I understood? To 80 to 20% male, that's, that's a huge disparity. Why do you think? I think that it's a lifestyle magazine and women do a lot of the grocery shopping and females are making a lot more of the decisions and raising the kids as well. And we're really now starting to tap into the male, like through our work section of the magazine. Um, 
in terms of architecture and larger businesses. So right. we are seeing a raise in the male, but I do think women believe in consciousness more than men. Women are usually concerned about green and consciousness. I would say I'm a rarity. My husband and my brother-in-law were way more green when I first started the magazine than me, but they grew up with a mom that was very conscious of the earth. Gotcha. From an entrepreneurial point of view, starting a magazine um, or producing a magazine such as Green Living and is incredibly popular. Uh, it, it carries challenges, right? I mean, as we're moving toward the digital era, uh, the print medium is pretty much disappearing. How do you compete with uh, the social media and the, digi the digital world? I think print media in general is disappearing, but mm -hmm. when you have a niche publication, a luxury magazine or a, knit or a green magazine, right. um, people are still reading, but I think you have to incorporate video and you have to do things like have events where we have the launch parties and lunch and learns and connect with nonprofits and other green sustainable organizations so you can build out your tribe. Um, how many... You mentioned your, your, your readership, Eddie, 20. Um, do you know approximately how, how, how big your size is? Of, how much readership uh, yeah, how much print readership and digital? Yes. Um, we touch about 60,000 people with the print magazine and about 40,000 people with the digital between social media and video and website. Is that uh, throughout um, the U.S. or just here in Arizona? That is um, throughout the U.S., but most of our print readership is within Arizona, but we do have digit or print subscribers from all of the United States and then digital subscribers globally. As an entrepreneur, um, seeing all the changes that, that, that you see uh, now happening uh, from a political point of view and the, um, again, that, that disparity that is existing right now and that um, apathy, um, and I, I guess I don't, I don't have any other adjective but other than just call it uh, apathetic, um, the attitude that some folks now in charge of the government have toward green living, toward climate change, etc. It's got to be frustrating for you uh, because it seems like we're, we're moving into an entirely different world that you have created for this past 16, 17 years. Definitely, but you have to look at everything as an opportunity and I think it brings people closer together because I think there's more of a community and a consciousness for the people that are against the current political situation and a lot of women are banding together and organizations are banding together and it creating more of a community and I think it's hard, but um, I don't know, some things politically that are going <laughs> on, but I think it's if pretty, you create your community, very difficult. it's the only thing you can do. What do we need to do in order to make this, or to, erase, to increase consciousness on people about what's going on in our planet, about living more green, if you will? What do we need to do? What's the message? Here you go. <laughs> Well, I don't really want to make it political, but I mean, if they political, have issues, just, just social. you know, what reach out to, to your senator, reach out to your political people and tell what initiatives you have in terms of sustainability and things that you feel and maybe connect with people that believe in climate change and, you know, make the word out there. And pragmatically, what should we do? I'm going to go home this afternoon. What should I do in order to start living green? Um, well, normally what I do is I do a tour of my home and the first thing that you can do is maybe get rid of all the toxins and chemicals, like start with your laundry room and then go into your bedroom and start switching out your, um, your bedding to something organic and your bed organic and then all the products you use on your skin and then look at your things in your home, your paint, your flooring and get rid of carpet if you can and maybe use hardwood floors depending on if you have allergies, start growing your own food, look at your kitchen, get rid of the plastic, things like that. There are things that we can do immediately. We don't have to wait until, you know, tomorrow to do it. Right. These are these are very practical things and we can find them here on Green Living Magazine. Green Living Magazine, oh, no, actually GreenLivingAZ.com. Correct. That's and then, awesome. or check out our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram you're, as well. You're all over the place. Yes. And then you can pick up the magazine in Whole Foods, Fries, 
all of the all of the places. And uh, is this a subscription or is it just a? Um, it's a free magazine, free but magazine. you can also subscribe okay. as well. And um, we also have Greenie memberships, okay. where you would become a Greenie. You get the magazine, a T-shirt, a Greenie. A greenie. I like it. And um, you also get invited to all of our events at a discounted rate. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Um, this is really a tremendous movement, uh, Dory, a tremendous uh, magazine. We should all be as, uh, as, uh, as fortunate as you are to, to have started something like this and to uh, provide a consciousness of uh, uh, green living. Well, I'm just excited that you and honored that you asked me to be on your show. I and I'm thankful it. and grateful for I that. I appreciate it. We know a lot of the, 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 the same people and the same folks. And I, I shamefully can tell you, I mean, I could do much better. And you inspired me to do this. Thank you so much. Thank that, you. We're out.